one mole of one of the sodium salts listed below and having carbon content close to 14.3 percent and it is producing one mole of carbon dioxide upon heating so we can see this all are uh, sodium carbonates NaCO this is a sodium bicarbonate uh, format sodium format uh, sodium ethanol so is there so all uh, can produce carbon dioxide but in which contains 14.3 percent for the convenience uh, I am taking this one option so uh, 14.3 percent current means uh, we'll use a law of conservation of mass or law of different proportion so what is the mass of carbon carbon uh, is again 12 and what is the molar mass of sodium carbon sodium bicarbonate uh, molar mass of sodium bicarbonate is if you calculate uh, it will be comes about around 84 so just divide by 84 and again multiplied by 100 so if you solve it on solving you will get uh, percentage like so 14.28 percent if you solve it so this answer is correct remaining you won't get so just try to find in this case there is three carbon in this case one carbon in this case two carbon so take 28 gram 14 gram 3 into 14 is 42 divided by the molar mass and if it is matching then your answer is there so in this case you will get only this is correct answer remaining you won't get the answer so this is correct answer among formic acid, acetic acid, propanoic acid and phenol, which is the strongest acid in water? So of course we can write this is the formic acid, next is your uh, acetic acid and after that we have propanoic acid C2H5 and COOH and next is our phenol C6H5 phenol. So this is uh, given in series so which is more acidic uh, more acidic will your this one formic acid is the rule this will be very less acidic then all aliphatic carboxylic acid will be more than that one due to plus i effect this acidity acid strength will be decreasing in this case then it will increase again this will be more acidic so formic acid is the strongest acid among the all four acids According to Gram's law, the rate of diffusion of carbon monoxide, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide follows the order. So we know this mass is uh, 28 gram, in this case 32 gram, and in this case is uh, 28 gram, and in this case is again 44 gram. So both are same, and we know rate of uh, diffusion is nothing but the, but inversely proportional to the molar mass. So we have to find rate of diffusion which, uh, which is matching. So if you see carefully these two are matching so a and b is there and now uh, whose molar mass is very less so after that nitrogen then followed by 32 so our answer is your 28 uh, gram so this two is same so co2 and 2 and after that for 32 gram there is the oxygen so this answer is correct the major product formed when two butene is reacted with the ozone followed by the treatment of zinc plus water so this is a reductive division the 2 butane is nothing but this is 2 butane and this is reacting with the ozone. Uh, first is ozone and then uh, followed by the water, zinc water. So this is the first reagent and second is the zinc. So they will directly give you the compound. So we, one oxygen this side, one oxygen this side. You will get the compound, 2 moles of this compound. This compound nothing but the acetaldehyde. The UPEC name for the following compound is so this is the double bond compound if you see carefully so you have to start from here 1 and after 1 if you write 2 and 3 4 5 this is 3 4 5 so one chain is this side and second chain is 1 2 3 4 5 so 4 5 6 so this chain is again if you see this chain is again long chain so this is wrong this is correct chain 6 means hex is there so we if you see carefully this becomes your propyl 2 propyl hexene this is our correct answer the major product of obtained in the reaction of oxalic acid with concentrated h 2 support upon heating is so this is the oxalic acid and if you use the concentrated h 2 so 4 and if you give heating so you will get this will split into two types so one is co next is co2 and third is your water so we'll get three products carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and water
सो दिस इज करेक्ट आंसर लिथियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रिएक्ट विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू फॉर्म दिस लिथियम कार्बोनेट सो वट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इफ वन ग्राम ऑफ लिथियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज कंज्यूम सो राइट द रिएक्शन एल आई ओ एच प्लस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड यू विल गेट द प्रोडक्ट एल आई टू सी ओ थ्री प्लस वाटर बैलेंस इट इज द टू सो दिस इज इफ यू टेक द टू मोल वी रिक्वायर वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू मोल मीन्स हाउ मच सो टू मोल मीन्स टू इन टू यू कैन लाइक ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम वाई ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम This is a molar mass. Lithium is seven. This is your seventh name. So it becomes twenty-four. Twenty-four into forty-eight gram. So we require forty-eight gram. So if you take one gram, how much it will require? So forty-four divided by forty-eight. So if you solve it, you will get answer zero point nine one six gram of lithium. So carbon dioxide. This answer is correct. The oxygen number of the sulfur is minus four. In this case, it is two. This is your. Uh, if you solve it, this becomes your carbon plus four. So this is again minus two carbon disulfide. This is plus six, and this will be your plus, not plus. It will be your minus minus four. They are asking. So how much will be there? So sodium is uh, plus two. It is plus two is there, and this is. So this will be your this sulfur will be your plus four. So this is actually plus four. Make it correction. So this is our. Correct answer. So Al two react with so Al two O three it can react with uh, HCl also and it can react with the sodium hydroxide. So in this case you will get AlCl three plus H two O and in this case you will get NaAlO two plus hydrogen. So this is reacting with both because this is the amphoteric oxide. So answer is D. The major product form in the oxidation of acetylene by the alkaline KMnO4 is so again very easy question. This is the acetyl line, HC triple bond C and H. And in presence of alkaline KMnO4, KMnO4 plus basic mediums, and this is the cold KMnO4. So definitely this will convert into your alcohol. So this will convert into HC double bond oxygen again HC double bond oxygen and hydrogen. Again further oxidations. What will happen? This will convert into Your uh, like this is right here, so H C O, and uh, this will be your O H, and this is again C. Uh, this is your you can write here O H. So this is nothing but the if you see this is the oxalic acid. This is the example of oxalic acid. So this is the correct answer. In a closed vessel, an ideal gas at one atmospheric pressure is heated. Uh, from this to this temperature means uh, we have uh, moles of gas is constant only pressure and temperature is varying we have to find the final temperature so we can write p1 by t1 is equal to p2 by t2 because moles and volume is volume is constant with a closed vessel and moles is also constant p1 is given how much it is 1 temperature is 300 p2 is how much and this is 600 kelvin this is 600 this is a 300 So definitely P two will be how much two atmospheric pressures. It's very a stupid question asked in the KPY. Among the elements lithium, nitrogen, carbon, helium, which have the largest atomic radiuses. So we know that the radius is atomic radius is uh, decreases along the period. So along period why? Because the effective nuclear charge is increased. So if you see along the period, lithium will be your Uh, left hand side so it has the large radius then followed by the beryllium then followed by the your carbon then nitrogen so which have the largest atomic radius lithium a redox reaction among the following is so we have to find which of the following is the redox reaction again very easy questions this cadmium is plus 2 cadmium plus 2 potassium is plus 1 plus 1 Not redox again. Barium plus two, barium plus two, sulfate minus two, sulfate minus two. Not possible. Cl minus one plus one minus one. Again, in this case, this is also not possible. So only there is a possibility of calcium. This one. This is zero. This is the plus two. This oxygen is zero. This is your minus two. We can clearly see reaction oxygen take place between calcium oxide. This is correct answer. The electronic configuration which follows the, which always Hund's rule of uh, for the ground state of carbon. So ground state of carbon that is it is six six means 
वन एस टू टू एस टू एंड टू पी टू सो वन एस टू इज मैचिंग टू एस टू इज मैचिंग एंड टू पी वी हैव टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द सेम दिस इज नॉट गिवन इज द सेम प्लेन इन दिस केस दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन दिस नॉट पॉसिबल दिस इज रॉन्ग सो दिस इज करेक्ट आंसर द ग्राम दैट इफेक्ट द आइंस्टाइन फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट फॉर द मोनोक्रोमेटिक सोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी Above the threshold frequencies, there are four graphs. Is there four graphs? Is there photoelectric current versus intensity of radiation? And we know this very well. Intensity of radiation when increases, then what happens? Numbers of electrons also increases. Number of electron nothing but this is called as the photo current. So when electron increases, photo current is also increasing. So intensity increasing, so we'll get the graph like a straight line. So we can reject this one and this one. Because uh, kinetic energy is proportional to frequency, but not proportional to number of electrons. So this idea is not possible. This idea is only possible. So out of four graphs, which is more correct, this is correct. Here they have given this uh, some threshold value, so there is no requirement of threshold value. So whenever you will increase the intensity, electron will uh, suddenly increase. Current will be directly proportional to the electrons. So this is only. Correct diagram. This is again wrong diagram. In the following reaction, x, y, and z are given here. So this is a very simple reaction. This is the full compound. Okay. Uh, benzene reacting with the x and in presence of y. So very clear. So if you take this toluene, so this x must be CS three Cl, and this must be your. If you see the carefully, uh, N hydrous Al Cl three. So if you see carefully, we have only options A is there. This is confirmed. And what could be Z? So Z definitely this is the HNO three plus HNO H two is a four. So this will give you the compound HNO two positive neutronium ion. And this will attack at the two position. One is this uh, ortho position. One is the para position. So para position is the male product. Ortho is the male product. So para position they have not given. So anyhow. Uh, we have to check which uh, uh, x y z is what. So x y z is this only. This is these are the wrong answers. Two three diborane can be converted to two butane in a two step reaction. So two three dibromobutane uh, means this is the two three. So this is the bromine bromine. And if you use, we have to convert into butane. So this is the butane. So first we have to convert to double bond. So if you see carefully. If you use alcoholic potassium hydroxide, then uh, beta elimination will take place. One hydrogen from here, one Br, so they, it will make one double bond. And again, one Br from here, one hydrogen from here, so it will directly form the double bond. No, sorry, uh, one hydrogen from here, one Br. So in first step, if you using alcoholic potassium hydroxide, so it will form like this. So one Br and second is the hydrogen this side, so it will form double bond. In the case of third, if you use the soda amide, so soda amide will take, so it will give you trans alkene, so it will take one hydrogen from here and Br from here, so you will get this product if you use the soda amide. Ko we cannot use alcoholic KOH next time. Again, we cannot use this product next time because this is uh, uh, performing on the this only, not on this. So we will have to use the soda amide, and you will get here trans. Alkene, trans alkyne, sorry, like this. So this is a two-step reaction. So this answer is correct. So this is the question number twenty-three, and this reaction based on the heat of reaction, heat of combustion reaction is there. So NO two is come uh, reacting with the ozone. It will give this reactions, and uh, O three is reacting to give three by two oxygen. And O two is converted into nascent oxygen. So enthalpy change for the following reaction is this one. So we have to find the enthalpy change for this reaction. So these three reactions, write these three reactions. So if you see this uh, reaction, we can write NO plus O three. It will give you NO two plus oxygen. So in this case, we have value minus one ninety eight point nine. Second case is if you take oxygen. Let us take the reverse of this one because we have to get final result this one. Reverse of this is three by two, and it is converting into O three. In this case, enthalpy will be your again 
142.3 and third reaction is this one so this is your two ox nascent oxygen and this is converting to your oxygen so we'll take again reverse half oxygen and you take it half multiply it become nascent oxygen if you just add it this will cancel this oxygen will be cancelled ozone will be cancelled so you will get NO plus nascent oxygen it will give you NO2 and in this case what is the value value will be a half of 4, 4 uh, 495 and if you solve it on solve it you will get 304.1 kilojoule per mole so what is the answer answer is this one 1.85 gram sample of an arsenic containing pesticide was chemically converted to ASO4 uh, 3 negative and atomic mass is given 74.9 and this is titrated with the lead this is the 2 plus is there 2 plus is there and you form the lead arsenate if 20 ml of this uh, 0.1 molarity of lead 2 plus is required to reach the equivalent point equivalence point that the mass percentage of the arsenic in the pesticide sample is closest to we'll use the law of equivalence over here so this sample compound is if you take a sample compound which is nothing but the one point is 1.85 gram and now this sample after chemical reaction is converted to ASO4 uh, 3 negative and again this is reactive with the lead dipositive and the concentration of this lead dipositive is 20 ml and 0 0.1 molarity and this is converted into PV3 AS O4 2 this means that uh, this whole arsenic is fully converted into lead arsenate means uh, if you use uh, what is the quantity of arsenates means uh, most of arsenic is totally equal to most of this uh, arsenic and arsenic is present in this compound so here how many lead is there so if you see the quantity of lead so this is the reaction like this uh, if you write like a s o 4 3 negative it's reacting with the lead 2 plus and it is giving pv3 a s o 4 whole twice you see so just to balance the equation just uh, here uh, we have arsenic is 2 because it's completely reacting so we we'll write 2 here and lead is 3 so write 3 here what is the moles of PV use? So moles will be your uh, 20 multiplied by 0 0.1. So this becomes your 2 millimole. So for uh, 2 millimole, so for 3 mole, we require 2 moles of arsenic ASO for 3 negative. So for 3 mole, how much it will require? So we can write. Uh, so if you take uh, 3 moles of lead, we require 2 moles of AS for 3 negative. So if you take 2 millimole. So we require how much this one? So 2 by 3 into 2. So this much AS4, uh, ASO4, 3 negative is required. Now whole AS is coming from the sample. The whole AS is coming from the sample. So we will apply the principle of atomic conservation. Okay. So moles of arsenic is moles of arsenic is how much? It will be. 22 means 4 by 3 that is uh, 4 by 3 millimoles this will be your millimoles and multiplied by what is the atomic number mass number of this is 74.9 so just uh, this is the millimole and uh, if you want to remove so it then you have to multiply 10 to the power minus 3 so this is the it will convert into gram so gram of arsenic is here this is the gram of arsenic now so if you solve it on solving you will get some value and uh, we have to find the mass percentage of arsenic in the pesticide sample so mass percent will be how much mass percent of arsenic will be this is a total given 4 by 3 multiplied by 74.9 again multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 and this is divided by the sample mass of the sample mass of the sample is already given 1.85 and if you write in percentage then whole is multiplied by the 100 so on solving how much you will get so on solving you will get uh, this equation uh, 4 um, by 3 and this will be your 74.9 uh, divided by uh, you can write it 18.5 and again if you solve it you will get 
to 99.6 divided by 55.5 again if you just solve it you will get 5.398 percentage this is the given so 5.39 is almost equal to 5.4 percent so let us see what is the answer so answer is uh, if you compare so answer is given here 5.4 when treated with concentrated HCl, MnO2 yields this gas and which further reacts with the calcium hydroxide to generate a white solid Y. The solid Y reacts with the direct HCl to produce the same gas X. So this is the MnO2 and it is reacting with the HCl gas. So HCl gas it will give you what X X is and again this hole is reacting with the calcium hydroxide and it is giving Y. Y is the white solid. Again, this Y, if you give dilute HCl, then you will get X again, X gas again. So, what could be the possibilities? So if you see carefully, so what is the solid Y is? So, Y is solid calcium oxide, calcium chloride, calcium carbonate, calcium, uh, this is the bleaching powder. So, bleaching powder gives the gas, chlorine gas. So, this is, the, this reaction is basically is the preparation of chlorine. This reaction basically preparation of Chlorine. So this gas is nothing but the chlorine. So chlorine is reacting with the calcium hydroxide. You will get the compound calcium OCl hole. And this is your Cl. So this is the nothing but the bleaching powder. And bleaching powder is in presence of dilute HCl. You will get again Cl2 gas. So this answer is our bleaching powder.